you do golf a lot. You spend all your time playing golf, thinking golf, working on your golf swing. Is the motion fun? Is it athletic? Like for me, when I really rip one, I love doing that. That motion's fun. This product is a little bit of a prototype. prototype. Yeah, we'll call it prototype. But it does get the point across of coming up against resistance in the swing that you've got to overcome. All right, yeah, grab your glove. So I'm going to do it as a lefty. And it's really more of we're going to keep this swing uh, sort of in this shorter range from here to there. And we're really going to feel what we've been creating. So we're going to give it some. Oh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And you can hear the sound, you can feel it. Remember, let's keep that swing sort of, it's almost like once I pull through, I'm pulling it back. A little more yeah. back swing. Yes. Feel it? Yes. A little more back swing. Boom. Okay, beautiful stop. Okay. How good does that feel? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want you to go the other way, just a couple. Okay. Not, not big swings, don't try to kill it, just get a feel. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. I want to see, basically, you've, you've primed so much with what we've just done. Mm -hmm. I want to just see that same thing. And what we might do is remember your thing about radiation. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think I'll get those tools ready for you and we'll, we'll put those in and out. So, so we'll bring can, those in. We can yeah. flip flop. Yeah. We, all right. So get, get a couple so we can get another baseline. 132. Ooh, <laughs> that's incredible. That Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. 129. That's awesome. Now, I want you to do a couple loads, lag pop loads. I'm going to go. Boom. How's that? Beautiful. Okay, good. More hips, even. More. Get that belt buckle. Yes. Beautiful. One more. Beautiful. All right, give me, give me your little skip step. Pump okay. it, punch it. Yeah, that's it. Boom! There you felt it. That's it. Yeah. All right, now the C one. Okay. Get that same feel. You got it baked in. Uh-huh. One thirty. Nice. Beautiful. You're creating 130 as your new average. Let's see 133. Okay, yeah, I got more. I know you can do it. Get, let that, load that thing up like you've never loaded and you'll, you'll get it like we've done. Faster and, and longer? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, I missed it. That's all right. 129. 129. <laughs> That's way up in your stance. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Let me keep trying. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I think I can. What do you do when you jump? Yeah, down and up, yeah. <laughs> so I'm already in my backswing, way up high. Yeah. Flex to the middle, explode from there. Oh, okay, so I'm going. Yes, yes, okay. yes. You'll feel a big power difference. Yes. Now I'm gonna give you a lot more resistance. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. That's it. Do you okay. feel what I'm trying to get at? I think so, yeah. You're trying to create a stretch shortened moment where when you land, there's, you're, you're just getting, it's all into the jump so that that applies straight through the system. Okay. okay. All right, now, a few of these. Yes. Yes. All right, so let's do this. Ooh, 135. Woohoo! Yes. That was good. You want to get a picture? picture, of that picture one. Yep. Yeah, through the impact zone, it's it's more of like a like a broom sweeping kind of yeah. feel, maybe. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ooh, 137. Boom! Yeah. Boom. Brandon, I'm telling you, man, that is ridiculous. That is really That's phenomenal. fast, right? Yeah, good. really fast. All right, grab your driver. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. All right, excuse the wind a little bit, guys, if there's a little bit of uh, wind noise here, but 
Uh, we're in a Kansas day, but it's all about ball speed. And that's, that's right. ball speed initial ball enough. speed. That's right. So that's we're not looking at carry numbers. We're not looking at anything else. We're not even really looking at club head speed so much. We're looking at, boom, ball speed. So we're getting angry and we're getting a little uh, pumped up here. John, we went from, in our earlier video, we went from 160. We did some of this uh, unique tour tempo stuff using some of the tools and whatnot. 168. 168.3. That was yeah, good. Yeah, 0.3. Felt good. Exactly. Then uh, over on BeBetterGolf.net, you'll see this video where it's like very long video about really ins and outs of all these like unique moves that John did on addition that we just did. And I'm feeling a great pump in my core and body. And uh, we got the speed ball in that video, you guys will see. I was peaking at 130 before. Then we got the speed ball, 137. That that's was good. huge. I'm that telling you, that's huge. One thirty seven. Yeah. Yeah. felt now, good. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm compromised or whatever. I mean, that felt good. Yep. So now we're going into uh, some of this flip-flopping stuff that's very important. Okay, we're baking in the feels so that we can... It's uh, That 137 is pretty useless if I can't get some of that to come up into that's the right. ball. That's right. Yeah, get to the ball. So before we hit, we're going to have B set up. I want you to do a couple of your oh, yeah. pop moves. Mm -hmm. Then we'll do a couple speed balls, and then you'll be ready. <clears throat> Boom! That's that was braced. <clears throat> yes, you got one it. More, one more, one more, one more. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. Beautiful. <clears throat> Beautiful. All right. Kay. You just baked it in. Let's see it. That's it. <clears throat> that was torched pretty good. What do you think? It was okay. It, was, okay, it okay. wasn't right out of the center, but it, okay. it, but I actually felt like I made the moves I wanted to make. Yeah, but it was 166.5, not out of the oh, center. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's good. Here's Hold on. Let me get a tool that I... I, I feel I, like I'm losing the feeling a little. You are losing yeah. the feeling, but part of it's your backswing. Do a couple of these mm -hmm. and feel what it is in your mind that makes this pop because you're a little slow off the ball. Okay. And I want you to, can you use a little bit of a trigger somewhere with your lower body? Rory McIlroy does it. So I kind of go trigger, boom, trigger, boom. Yep. You can go back all the way. You just go trigger and go. Yes. That's what we got to get you doing off the ball. That a baby. That a baby. Get that feel okay. now. How was that? That was closer. That was really good. The ball flight is impressive. 169.2. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was closer. That like is that. right there. I round up, so you got to get to 169.5. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do a few more of these lag poppers? Yeah, I think, I, I think the flip flopping is very important. It, that was yeah. way better rhythm going back. You were trying to create speed from two, not enough athleticism going back. Yeah. It's like before I was slow in that first 18 inches and then I was trying to be fast and then it just... Yeah. But you got to get I that can... thing going. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> yep. Do one more for me. When you get to the top, uh -huh. I want you to feel just a little more of that. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> yes. What's oh. that one, John? It looked great. I, mm. you, you actually got a trigger there. Backswing was better. 169.0. That's still okay. incredible. Okay, good, I think good, 170 good. is in you for sure. Your smash is 1.49, so that's pretty damn good right there. Um, let's get you a T. I I think one of the things I love about the lag popper out here, it's easy to use, easy to practice. You don't, it doesn't matter with the wind yeah. and it gets you loading the system. So I think that's huge. Actually, let's do a couple more. I'll hold your driver. Mm -hmm. I want to see just a little more of that. So he's got the, the power whip on there. And for you guys at home, when you take this back, if you don't get this rolling down your wrist, you're not creating a lever. Mm -hmm. So that's what we kind of just did a little bit there just to feel a little at the top. So you had that. Trigger. Yes, that's it. So good. Okay. Trigger. Boom. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, oh. Um, how was that? In the heel, just, oh. a, just a little bit. I thought bit, that was one. No, it was, I mean, it was good. It would be a high number, but. 166, oh, that was your club head speed you want. 166.5, like you said, didn't have the smash factor. Oh, there we go, John. That's it right there, That's I can feel ripped. it. That was torched. That felt like those Mickelson Instagram ones, yep. you know, that he really liked. 168.2, so oh. good though. That was a great everything. It's really good. Okay, well we'll be out here until we break 170 <laughs> yeah. for sure. Let's um, let's do a quick. Let's rekindle everything. Okay. We'll keep it all set up. Get yeah. a drink of water. Three quarter, three quarter. Nice. Same type of swing. There you go. Pretty close. That's all wind. I mean, that's that was a total wind. You had a dead straight, yeah. It looked a, was a little low off the face. Oh, 167. You had the club head speed. It was 167.2. Okay. Great club head speed there. 114. Okay. That wind is a tough wind for a righty, but you hit that a little more solid. You got 170. God, that's a good flight. Yeah, I such mean, such an awesome par five shot. That would be unbelievable, especially if it was downwind. 166.4. Club head speed's still right there. You just, this wind is a, no excuses, but it's a hell of a wind. So, hey, just all you're missing, little trigger, go oh, float, trigger. Okay. trigger it, and then you're good. Yeah. Well, oh, that's the one. How was it? Good. That was your best trigger explosion off the ball. Still in the air. 167.5, man, I thought that was, that was a great ball though in this wind, really good. Now, here's one thing to think about. Yeah. You've been going for two hours now. Mm -hmm. You've got a whole new average here in the one, upper 160s. Yeah. So that's impressive, really good stuff. We'll hit a couple more balls. This is gonna be more of a, a golf course swing. Okay, I wanna have you do me one favor. Uh -huh. Okay, get one teed up, we're gonna try something. So I want you to just do me one favor here. Take this. I want to see you load this hip as much as you can uh -huh. and feel like you're going almost past parallel with the wrist. Okay. Okay? Just for fun for me, since you're in the land so of the like Jayhawks. The, uh, so look, it's like boom. A sad it's a Sadlowski feel. Yeah. yeah. Just show me that. Yes. But that popped too late. It should have popped and then you got there. Now, just do that for me. We'll see what happens. Okay. That's 170, if it was solid. It was a pull, but I don't care. What do you think? I don't think so. I think it's close. Ah, you're right, 165. I think you have officially... Yeah, we'll, we'll come back in the afternoon. Yeah. Or after lunch or whatever. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do this again. Or tomorrow morning. Because okay. <laughs> I, I think what I want to incorporate next and this will be good for the viewers is, we've done all this training, we need to do the Pavlov thing. You know Pavlov and his dogs? I wanna hear, when you hear the tones, I want that to create something for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we haven't even done that. So that's next, yeah, well, last one. Okay. All right, John, so we, we got uh, two hours under the uh, Brendan odometer right here. <laughs> of swing that's a lot training. of, that's a lot. Last ball, he's Let, at, he's at ball. Uh, <laughs> we're at two hours, so that's incredible work. Literally shaking. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Pretty good. That's pretty good hit. Pretty I good. mean, it's tough wind right there. Whew. So, you went from 160. That was good. That was, that was you know, 160s. Uh, you went from 160 to 169.2. Yeah. I like to yeah. round up, so I would have liked to have seen 169.5. Yeah. But that is incredible work. But what's the difference is now after that round of training? Yeah. You got 169, but your average has increased as well. Yeah, right, right. Like your normal swings are now yeah. 165. The off-center ones were above 160. That's right. Before we had an off-center one that was 140. So. That's right. So a huge so increase. Our average is coming up, and uh, it's really good, and it, and it feels good. It's this great, just to knock one right here, uh, it's this great sense of, let me find a. Yeah. It's this great sense of freedom that you have in hitting it. It's not, it doesn't, it might look kind of wild, but it's a... Considering a, the wind right now? A really good sense of like <laughs> yeah. getting through the ball and like 
being a lot more athletic. And let me ask you this, because this is something I talk about. Sorry to interrupt, yeah, but I, I talk about ahead. a lot with my golfers. You do golf a lot. You spend all your time playing golf, thinking golf, working on your golf swing. Is the motion fun? Is yeah, it athletic? Right. Yeah, yeah. Like for me, when I really rip one, huh. I love doing oh, that. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. That motion's fun. Because if it's if it's controlled and you're doing this and this and it's not fun, what are you doing? Oh, that like, was that'd nice. Be, that'd be a good golf course shot. That's a, little, a great golf course a shot. Little, a little fade up the left hand side. Yeah, dead straight. That was 162.2 yeah, and that after was like, two that, hours. And that, well, that was like a, a golf course swing to it. I wasn't yeah. trying to nuke it. But what I wanted to say, because I get a lot of comments on the channel, John, I wanted to get your opinion. It, they, uh, people saying, like, why are you working on speed training so much? You, uh, you should be working on being more uh, consistent and efficient. But there's a connection. Do you think there's a connection oh, absolutely. between working on speed and finding efficiencies? And it's like absolutely, especially the way that I'm creating speed in uh -huh. the golf swing with you, and especially what you know about the mechanics of the swing. Yeah. What we're doing is a, a, a more efficient swing. A better swing is a faster swing. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. And that's what we're creating here. Plus, by the way, hitting it far. Have you ever noticed the guys on tour are long? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really long yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, Roy McIlroy, even Tiger. I mean, Tiger's whole thing, his whole career was longer. The fastest than... guys are also the best guys. Yeah, That's right. exactly right. Yeah. No one has won a major in like the last five years with a ball speed below 170. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the last couple major. Now, Tiger, Tiger is all change for him on this last major, but like Brooks Kepka, 185. Dustin Johnson, 185. Uh -huh. Rory McIlroy. You know, all these guys, these ball speeds are up there. It changes the length of the course. You saw that with me yesterday when we played. Yo, yeah. If I can hit it straight, at 350 this is it's a lot easier oh you killed it john here's the other thing about increasing speed right. yeah you can now dial it down yeah with a very controlled swing yeah like and that that's, 281 you, you yeah had, it was like yeah it was 300 don't sell me short oh love it look at that great shot Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> off the tee, you off thought it was 280. Yeah, you that's right. You it out to 302. But, but my right. point is, now you yeah. can all of a sudden ratchet it down. Yeah. Your 80% is now going as far as your old swing. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And that is more accurate. So that's why the speed work is so important. And the interesting thing about what we did today is because physically, we didn't work out long enough to make any real changes in my body. Right, no and way. It's really yeah. just the brain that's changing by doing yep. these things. That's right. But then also, the longer you do it, now you're changing the body and the brain. Right. And you're, Thanks for watching everybody. If you guys are interested in all these different tools that we've been using, the lag popper, the speed ball, all this different stuff, Bork and I is a really uh, very significant discount for Be Better Golfers on tourtempo.com using the promo code, all one word, Be Better Golf, 20% off of everything there. Uh, so just check that out. And also if you go to BeBetterGolf.net, there's gonna be some behind the scenes footage that you guys can really dig into the, the hows and, and uh, the proprietary stuff that John's doing to, uh, that's unique building speed. Thanks everybody. Bye. Thanks.